Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing today? If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. And we got a Paul George 3 box in front of you here. This was a recent Nike release that came out on July 20th, 2019. And as you can see, it's got the space box, Palmdale up top. And it is a PG3 NASA. Reflex Silver is the color code. Reflex Silver. USD is 120 price tag and nine and a half men's now getting into these these were released for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing which happened on july 20th 1969 and this is the shoe we are looking at today i think they did a good job on these it is a basically a monochrome shoe you know it's all one color so it's nothing like you you should be able to match this with a lot of outfits i mean it's a little bright but it's got some things about it that i think make it easy to throw together with an outfit so you've got a black nasa shield on the back you've got this um interesting kind of i don't want to say leather it's kind of like this material up here it's supposed to kind of resemble a space suit and what those would basically feel like like a lunar kind of fabric and over here you have a mesh upper which goes across here the lace um outlets here and the mesh here is all 3m this is not 3m this is not 3m this is not 3m but this is a nice chrome type reflective check right there you've got words going across the heel don't tell me the sky is the limit when the oh when there are footprints on the moon and on this side you have a kind of not invisible but camouflage check there You've got a nice little, like, as well would see, a rewind or fast forward logo. And you've got that same material going here across part of the toe box. You've got the PG logo here. And you've got Apollo 11 on the tongue, which was the Apollo mission which landed on the moon back in 1969. And just so I don't forget, on the insole, you've got NASA. Nothing special under the tongue besides Nike's new QR codes on there. I'm not going to go over that system right now because I'm still a little unfamiliar on how that works. But we'll do a video in the future, you know, going over the QR codes in your shoes and on your boxes. What they really do and is it something really that's going to be effective to stopping fakes across the market. Which I don't know if that's really going to be a sure thing. And then on the outsole, we've got what would be moon craters. And a nice kind of, I guess, moon kind of pattern i'm not quite sure what you call that it almost to me looks like it'd be like a black marble pattern and looking at the other shoe we'll pick this one up here on this one you have the pg logo on the tongue as this one you have the apollo 11 on the back of this one you have the pg with the earth and the ring around it and I don't know why there'd be a ring around Earth, considering it's not Saturn, but that might not be Earth. That could be kind of like what a sketch would do if a plane was flying or something was orbiting the Earth. It would create a stream, kind of to create the effect of motion. So maybe that was what they were aiming for there. You have the remove before flight tag with the numbers on the back, from which I am told is the OKC area code, Paul George's birth year, and I believe Palmdale, where he's from. And on this insole, we have a NASA thing, same as the other, the NASA shield, same as the other shoe, nothing special, nothing different. But I did want to mention something real quick. This flight tag is a little accessory that if you buy the shoe from somebody and they're dead stock, you should get. I have another pair here, which is different, but I'm just showing this. So this way I can confirm it because I had a viewer of mine ask about this hang tag because they had bought one from Goat and they wanted to know, was this supposed to come with the shoe? And I'm going to show you here. I have the orange pair that is my size 13 and it has the flight tag if you watch one of my previous videos which you can find at the end of the video up in one of these sections or go to my subscribe and check out my channel page you will see I reviewed a white pair of these which also came with this tag so anybody who's curious if you're supposed to get this tag with these shoes when you buy them from a third-party seller like StockX, Goat or any other app like that you should 
And other than that, I just wanted to give you guys a quick review on these today. Let me know what you think. Do you like this colorway? Do you think it's not for you? Do you like the PG3? Have you played in them before? Do you wear them casually? Let's get some conversation going in the comments. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I hope you like this. Please drop a like. Please subscribe down below. It helps the channel grow. And I appreciate the support from everybody. And I hope to see you in the next video. All right, guys. Have a good day.